Hello peeps, it's the G Collector 101 here and today I'm going to be doing an outfit of the day video because I was filming another video and then A, the camera quit on me and B, I realized it was better as a blog post so that will be going up someday, some, some way, somehow. Either way, we are going to be doing an outfit of the day starting of course with Miss the Seal since she's right here. Here's the Seal, she's currently in modern clothes but the historical dolls, I like to put them in modern clothes but always leave their necklaces on. So, here's Cecile's necklace. It's beautiful. And then she's got the American Girl Kansas City shirt from 2012 on her, along with the AG Fashion Show pants and Molly's saddle shoes, which have been pretty used. There's also a piece of hair on her. What on earth? That's probably my hair. Then again, you can never be sure. I know, it's crazy. Either way, this is her outfit. And, let's see here, I'll just put them up right here. Next, of course, we have Murray Grace, who is wearing the butterfly twist dress. I believe this outfit is retired, but it was like, it's still one of my favorite outfits. And she's got this bracelet. I believe I made this, my sister made this, I think. No, it was my sister, yeah. And she's got the boots that go with the dress. Her hair is in a loose, and by loose I mean extremely loose, and terrible French braid. And that is Marie Grace. Doo -ba -doo. And then we have Emily. Emily's just wearing her me outfit, because I like it. <coughs> Although I may eventually put her in Molly's polka dot outfit. And she's got her hair in like this braid that I did. I just sort of was experimenting and pulled the hair way back. I don't know, I think it looks kind of cute. Kind of cool. Does it look cool? Cute? I don't know. Comment down below. Anyways, then we have Anna Claire, who has on lime glasses and the uh, birthstone earrings. I don't know what months these are. I'm sure gemstone experts could tell me. She's also got on the American Girl Store Purchase with Purchase outfit with, of course, the flamingo. I mean, come on. Flam Not showing up. Flamingo! She's also got on the casual watch set and Ivy's rainbow romper flip flops. And then we have Kaya in the rest of Ivy's Rainbow Romper. She's not wearing shoes, just because I wanted the shoes to go with that outfit, and I don't have two pairs of doll flip-flops. It is not because of Kaya's race, or the fact that she's Indian, which is basically the same thing. But it's, the reason she doesn't have shoes is not because of that. And I also put the bandana on her. I just thought it looked kind of cute. And then I've got the romper on her. Uh. And then we have Lindsay, who's just wearing her me outfit, along with her hospital socks and the admission bracelet, because I've been playing with her. She's got her hair in her meat style, which is, it's always going to be like this. I'm not putting her hair in any other styles. Oh my goodness. The Pleasant Company clothes still fit on her. They are a little loose, though. So yes, for those of you that are asking, or that will ask in the future, because I know I'll get comments on this video. Yes, the Mattel dolls are smaller than the Pleasant Company dolls in terms of body size. That's one thing that you have to be aware of if you're buying a skin, um, a skin tight outfit, or a really tight outfit like Samantha's. Um, what is that called? Frilly frock, or um, I can't think of many other tight fitting outfits from AG. Um, and lastly, Molly's in her 1944 swimsuit. I put on because it was summer. I love this outfit. It's my, it's probably my favorite like summery outfit of hers. Definitely amazing. I just love Molly in this. And that's everyone's outfits. You may have already seen them all, but I decided to make a video so that in the future you can look at it and look at it as a documentary or something. I really need to get this box out of the way. Oh my goodness. Yes. Also, before I go, I'm going to show you guys some of my newest sewing creations. First of all, we have this coat, which I made. It doesn't have Velcro on it or anything, and I probably need to cut out the spacing, but... Yeah. 
I also made another hospital gown. I haven't ironed it or anything. I literally just put a hook and eye on it. So it doesn't even have Velcro either. I need to get some more Velcro. This is just like, this video is just a reminder to myself. So we just have this hospital gown. It works really well. It's not ironed though. But once it's ironed, it will look amazing. I also have this Halloween outfit that is pretty much complete. So we've got a shirt. I was um, I had the skirt made out of Halloween fabric. So I had the skirt. I took off the border. <coughs> and so now it's just really short skirt because I like making short skirts for my dolls. I'm admitting it right now. I like making short clothing for my dolls. I don't know why. I just do. And then I've got this shirt. So I used the rest of the Halloween fabric. And then I made this little bag to go with it. So the eventually, that was weird, the eventually. <laughs> eventually I'm going to get Velcro for the shirt and stuff, finish it off. So it's going to be the shirt, the skirt, and then I'm going to have a pair of black leggings and black shoes. And then this little treat bag as an accessory and it'll look really cute and stuff. I actually didn't make this without a pattern, if you're wondering. And I'm wondering also if it's going to look better if I, like, make little stitches to hold it like this. I don't know. Part of me thinks it does. Part of me thinks it doesn't. It's got this purple lining that's, like, gym short-ish material. I couldn't figure out what to do with it. And those are some of my latest sewing creations. I wanted to, um, actually the patterns for, on, um, on AG Playthings, the historical character patterns, you know, the pretty clothes, I don't know what they're called, the ones that were released by Pleasant Company, the zip files have stopped working. So I'm waiting for those to get back up and running because I wanted to make Felicity's holiday gown out of this fabric that I've had for a while. It's like, I don't know what you call it, pillow fabric. It's just regular cotton. But yeah, I even had the lace cut out and everything. And I really don't know how to make it on my own. I'm not that sad, though. Either way, that is about it. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all are having a great summer, and goodbye.